Hello everybody, welcome to my next movie review. Um, in this movie review, I'm going to be doing a sequel to a movie, and it's very appropriate, um, because it's got a guy who I think is turning into actually one of a pretty good actor, considering what his background is, um, originally. Um, you know, he's somebody I didn't expect to, you know, end up becoming, starting with this movie, uh, halfway decent actor, actually, um, but, uh, I'm talking about The Mummy Returns. This is, of course, you know, starring, um, Brendan Fraser, Rachel Wise, John Handa, uh, Arnold Vosloo, Odette Fierre, and Patricia Vecchez, and then, of course, Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock, as the Scorpion King. In this movie, um, Dwayne Johnson was known as The Rock still. But he later went on to, you know, start as Dwayne Johnson. Um, so, um, this is a pretty good, um, uh, movie. It's, it, uh, this movie's actually set, uh, eight years later in 1933. I said ten in the previous one, but I knew it was about ten, so shoot me for being slightly off. Um, uh, but, uh, what this is about is, you know, what happens is, um, you know, Imhotep, of course, is, you know, resurrected to, you know, uh, face a force that's even more powerful, the, uh, Scorpion King, um, who's, of course, played by Dwayne Johnson on The Rock, um, and what it is, is it starts in 1933, which in ancient Egyptian times would have been the year of the Scorpion, and, you know, it, what happens is, is, Evie and Rick O'Connell, uh, go, and they actually find this, you know, bracelet of Anubis, and they take their little son with them, uh, who, uh, you know, is there as Alex, um, and what happens is, is Alex, you know, and his parents, Rick and Evie, get home to England, and, you know, they just got home, and maybe were home like a half an hour, you know, 40 minutes, or an hour, even, and Alex opens up the, uh, box that the, uh, bracelet's in, and, uh, puts it on, and starts seeing visions of how to get to Amshir, where the Scorpion King is, um, and what ends up happening right at the same time, shortly thereafter, you know, the, uh, um, the cult that's led by the, um, curator of the British Museum shows up and they kidnap not only Evie but Alex, trying to get the bracelet of Anubis so they can resurrect the Scorpion King to fight with, uh, Imhotep. And, you know, they eventually realize that Alex is actually the one that has, um, the bracelet on, you know, they, you know, get him and just take off with it. Um, and, of course, uh, per Patricia Velasquez's character, Anoxia One, has been reincarnated as Mealy something or other, um, or Mila, uh, something or other, um, uh, and, you know, she, uh, you know, like, is able to remember stuff, you know, from back in ancient Egyptian times and everything. And when, you know, they bring Imhotep back, you know, um, you know, he gets the Book of the Dead and he eventually links an Oxenamon soul with, uh, you know, her reincarnated self and you know, they take off, um, and it just all goes from there, and, you know, it's a really, really great movie, and, you know, it's, it is scary, there's, like, pygmies, um, Scorpion King, uh, there's, uh, Anubis taking away Imhotep's powers, you know, uh, three-sided pyramids, references, um, dirigibles, um, people being afraid of being shot in a rump, and various other things, but I do highly recommend this movie, um, now, I've got some other movie reviews to do, so hang on, I'll be right back.